Right now we need to ban it because we don't know anything about the ecosystem and, and we don't know anything about which fish we have. It, and uh, it's a very nutrient poor ecosystem, so I expect very little fish. Then if you start fishing, then uh, you can destroy the ecosystem, or the balance of uh, the organisms. We are talking about an area that's outside the exclusive economic zones of the coastal countries. So, in principle, anybody can go fishing there when the ice disappears. So, that's why we need to know now what we have in this sea that perhaps can be exploited by anyone. So, and of course, we need protection for this area. So what we are going to do is to build uh, a way to, to uh, protect this area by, by uh, collecting baseline data. We are at the very beginning of this. So what we are doing is now mapping. And this is the first expedition that's going to map. And the big advantage of connecting to such a big expedition is that we get all the environmental data from the ship's program so we do not need to to measure the chlorophyll ourselves or, or the nutrients or the not even the, the zooplankton so we need only to look at the fish and the other data we can use and connect then the, the fish data to so that's a, a very big advantage of this um, this big expedition